I'm on holiday starting the vlog in bed. I've not done that yet. But it is Sunday, so it's allowed. Who remembers the first day when Charlotte opened this calendar? And I asked her yesterday if she'd open any more, and she said no. So I called her in. Charlotte Jarrett. It looks sunny outside. It looks blue. Oh, not in the camera. Go on then, how many days have you missed? Um, well, to be fair, they're all in there. But I think I've got up to like day five. Oh, so you've done a few. That's nice. Oh, and peach. Oh, bar foil. Bar foil. Cute. I don't want to get lost. You want to make a cake? No. What did he say? No, we're not making a cake. Why? We haven't got time. Oh, I did open number seven. This is a liquid eyeliner. Sorry, guys, I'm just in a major rush because I'm already late. Should have been somewhere at ten, and it's now like ten past. It's actually about half past. No, it's not. Pro Base Primer Oil. Yeah. Cute. Number ten is a liquid lipstick from Sleep. Oh, a brush, makeup eyeshadow brush. Good. Perfect hair day in shower styler. Oh, an eyebrow pencil from NYX. That's cute. What was that, number 12? Yeah. And then... Number 13. A cream eyeshadow. Oh. oh. It's been used. <laughs> yeah, it's just like moved around, hasn't it? Oh, that's a, a lip balm. What You've been, been asking, asking for, for about... You can keep that one out. I have got loads of Vaseline here. I just don't have any more. Well done. Thanks guys. Thanks Glossy Box. Not staying here again. I don't even get breakfast. <gasps> oh my god. Don't say that. You was in bed. I'm going out for breakfast. That's why. Yeah. I know. So not staying here again. Yes you are. <laughs> <laughs> what bad host. I don't get even a cup of coffee. A cup of tea. A water. Any breakfast. I'm starving. How was staying at Charlotte and Ellis's? Yeah, I'm starving. <laughs> Joking, they're going out for breakfast, but still. What was it? Right, I'm going home now. See you in a bit. Good morning. Two weeks into Vlogmas. It's Sunday the 15th. Is it the 15th? Yeah. I'm up. It's 12 o'clock. And we had a bit of a lie-in. I'm wearing um, this crop top, which is really cropped for December, but... Did you know, Nan? I watched Victoria Beckham in an interview recently mm. and she said one trend she's never understood is crop tops. She don't wear them. She said she's never, she'll never understand the trend of crop tops. How weird. No, oh, she's more, she likes to think she's more high-end fashion, doesn't she? I yeah, but what, why is a crop top not high-end? Well, because it's more for the beach, I suppose she thinks. She shouldn't really walk about it. I don't know. Yeah, random fact. She said it on, um... Ellen on the quick fire button thing. My hair needs a wash. I've just put on this shirt, which I love actually from Primark. I love it when flannel shirts go like really soft and they're quite old. I've had this a couple of years. This crop top is from Sophia Richie's Misguided Line. And then these joggers are actually from Sophia Richie's Misguided Line. And we're gonna go to the calf now. It's like a Sunday tradition to have some cat food. And yeah, then I need to go online and order some last minute Christmas presents. I have not got anything for Joel yet, actually, Nan. I don't know what to get Joel for Christmas. Um, I thought it was something and I've forgotten it now. Do tell. What is that? What you're going to get him, though? No. I don't really know what I'm going to get him. I'm not really good at the minute. <sighs> um, I know. Yeah, he's got your present. He's got me a present. Yeah, ah! Are we gonna actually wrap up presents and put them under the tree this year? I think we should. Yeah. Yes, we never do that. So I just got home. Guys, do you ever feel when you're in the mood to just like try something different? Um, ice latte, I've not had one in ages. Like I've had them before, but not in a long time because obviously it's cold. And I just decided to do like half chocolate oat milk and half normal oat milk with 
coffee and oh my god try it it's unreal it's like um chocolate milk slash coffee slash yeah it was just really good just showered and got into my cozies for now um this tracksuit uh slash loungewear set is from zara and i bought it a while ago and it's so comfy um still got my watch and necklace on <laughs> And these slippers are from the White Company and I actually got sent them a while ago now and I've like literally worn them to death and they're still so fluffy. You know how sometimes they can go like not as fluffy? They're still so comfy but um, I'm just heading downstairs and I'm going to make myself comfy and do some online shopping. Not for myself, but for my family. Because like I said the other day when I was wrapping presents, I'm pretty much done. Um, I just want to get a, lot, a few last minute bits. And I still need to get one of my sisters something because I've still not got her anything. Um, so like some research and stuff and then just some extra people that I want to get something for as well. So I'm going to do that. Also, look how cute. The guys that I used to work with got me and Charlotte these last night. Um, I've got too much chocolate this year and it's just sitting on the side because I'm trying not to eat it. Um, I might put a Christmas film on in the background as well. But um, yeah, I've not even mentioned that me and Sid are going out tonight. Out, out? No, not really. But um, yeah, we've mentioned a few times before we don't really spend Sundays together. Not that like um, it's that deep, but usually it's like family day. We are going to Jack Whitehall tonight at the O2. And yeah, it should be cute. So I think we need to go up there like this evening slash late afternoon. Um, so nice chilled Sunday with something to do. Because sometimes Sundays can be not boring, but like, um, I don't know. There's not much to do if, you've, if you're just having a chilled one. So... That will be nice later on. So last week, as some of you probably noticed from what the vlogs I said it, it's been four years since my granddad passed away. And we always let off balloons on birthdays and anniversaries of my mum and granddad's like anniversary of when they passed away and their birthdays. And yeah, we didn't do it the other day because it got really dark really quick and it was raining, so we're gonna do it now. One. Go. Wait, Why? it's gonna go that way, it's gonna go the wrong way, look! Oh. Yay, blue skies! Oh, come on. How has yours gone up higher? Come on. Open the door now. I should get my key. Open the door! No. Huh? No, 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 no. It's not cold, but I've got things to do! <laughs> Joel! Jo don't break that door, everything else is broken. I, when people say I wish I had a brother, I don't understand. I hate you having a brother. Oh, good. I hate you having a brother. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I am ready to go to London to see Jack Whitehall now. So I find it really handy when people recommend stuff that they love. People that influence me quite a lot or people that I admire so i'm gonna tell you guys the two bags i think it's worth splurging on at this moment in time that are quite like on trend at the moment so if you have like your birthday coming up i know christmas is real soon but like probably a little bit too soon but anyway i'm gonna tell you two bags of mine that are designer that i think are worth the coin so the louis vuitton bum bag this one is the world tour one so basically it got relaunched so it can have the stamps on which you don't have to have but it basically sold out in the bum bag the original bum bag version so i got the world tour one but i ended up wanting the stamps anyway so i've got my name here and then i've got palm trees the la stamp and then on the back i've got Paris like vintage stamp and you can there's a couple more you can have you can have ones on the top and when you go into like design it you can design online actually I think they still do the world tour stuff there's a whole collection so you can get the suitcases and stuff like that but this bag I kid you not it is pricey but 
I have had my wear out of it. I'm gonna wear it tonight. It literally goes with everything. The traditional monogram print, like the staple LV, this brown print, goes with so much. I cannot tell you how much it goes with. So this one is a must. I don't know if it's still in stock, but obviously you can find it somehow. Personal shoppers, it'll be in some stores. And then the next one that I kind of hesitated to buy it, but I'm so glad I got this. I got this in Venice, and now Kylie Jenner's been seen wearing it online within the last week. I do think it's going to become, like, it is really popular. I do think it's going to be like, kind of <laughs> set out everywhere. It is the Prada. I don't actually know if it has a proper name, but it does say on the little stamp that it's the Prada re-edition 2005. So they had a bag like this in 2005. Mine needs a clean, but I like that it's actually a nice wipe down fabric. And you can take off the strap, which is this chunky strap that has my hair pods in it. I love this little case, by the way, it's actually really handy. And you can just hold, have the bag like this. So I went on a night out the other night and just had the chain and the bag. So it's like, you can wear it two different ways. It goes with literally everything. If I can find the nude at some point, I might get the nude. Just cause I, it's actually a really practical size. Fits quite a lot in and yeah. These are the two bags that I go between the most now. I do have quite a few Louis Vuitton bags and this is definitely the one I'd say that gets the most wear out of so yeah just thought i'd give that little tip if anyone's looking at getting a designer bag soon those two are my faves at the moment if you're not sure on louis vuitton i feel like the louis print's not for everyone the prada literally is a really is one of them really subtle designer bags so yeah but anyway i'm ready to go out just waiting for l and then off we go to the o2 we're on our way you got your big coat on again. It keeps, I literally don't feel cold in it at all. No, that's good. I've got my long coat on too. But when you was out there and you went, ooh, it's cold, I was like, my hands are cold. Are you, you don't. I'm loading the vlog on the go again, and we're off to get some food. Oh, we can also get some Fanta. Why would I say that? I'm really shy. Are you getting food first? I'm not starving. No, neither am I. That's why I was like, I'm not sure. Why don't we go to like Nando's and get piggy bits? Yeah, cool. Perfect. And then, yeah, we're going to the O2. To be fair, I wasn't sure if it's going to be at the O2 and I was hoping it would have been. So I like small arenas. Yeah, but it's not going to be like fast. No. Yeah. Everyone sit down, Everyone stay just down. Everyone sit down. Everyone sit down, relax, enjoy the show. It's good match. But yeah, O2, you've got to have a big coat because we're walking to the station. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? See you there. People, people are going to shout us. What? This is all we got in Nando's. No, we're not coming. Barely. So wet. I told you, I'm not going to that room. Yeah, we've eaten quite a lot today. Oh. What? <laughs> My feet were on there and then they just started to like, watch, watch. <laughs> <laughs> you want to learn this bit? I want to learn point ballet. But, uh, L, I can teach you. I used to do point ballet. I used to do point ballet. Would you be able to do that now? Would you be able to do that now? No. <laughs> Probably not. We're on our way to the O2 now. Oh, it sounded like you were going to say airport. I wish we was on our way to the airport. Soon come. Soon come. Come on now. 
part, Jack Whitehall was really good. Elle thought I was lying and that his dad was gonna come out. And as we was leaving, his dad came out. And, oh my God. Come on, Elle. But yeah, if anyone's gonna see Jack Whitehall, definitely go and see him. Pretty good. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, pardon me. Sorry. Oh. Thoughts on Jack? Jack, like I've just been on a date with him. Thoughts on, imagine we vlogged that. How was your date? Um, yeah, very, very funny. Quite offensive, <laughs> but for to one, quite funny. Very funny. Are you gonna watch, no you're not, because you don't watch anything, good. We're gonna say you're gonna watch, watch Travels with your father, but yeah. you definitely won't. Well, what is on my nose? To rule, Right guys. Everyone commented, by the way, about the snowballs. Ah, we've not got a singing video. Who knows this song? Have I ever... <laughs> Three, two, one. Have, Have I, I ever, ever told you you're my hero? When a hero comes. No! And you are the... Uh, With uh, the strength uh, to uh, carry uh, on. Fly through the sky. And catch da, da, da. And you know you, you can survive. survive. So when you feel the hope is gone. Why have we not done a singing Christmas edition? Mm. By the way, I need to talk to you about something. <laughs> Jeez. Um, <Basically>. Anyway. <laughs> uh -oh. You need a wee, don't you? No, yeah, but I uh upload -oh, days on Christmas Day. Wednesday. I can't do that. You know what I'm doing Christmas. No one will watch it. Mm -mm. Anyway, that is a wrap from us. It's been more of an uplifting vlog today. I've liked it. So we're going to try and keep that spirit for the next nine days. Is that it? <laughs> That's all we have left. Cool. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Alright, see you in the morning. No. Let's go part ways. Oh, you're in the middle of the road. Bye.